Good morning everyone, this is Jeannie. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a good day today. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's Thursday here um, when I'm taping this video. And I am just going to do my weekly housework and cleaning and getting everything all spruced up here at home for the weekend. But I have had a viewer request to see my knitting needles. So this is what this video is all about. I have a drawer that I, a couple of drawers that I keep in my closet in a bin that I got at Walmart. And in it, it's a four drawer bin. Here it is. This is the lower one. And in it, I keep my knitting needles in the bottom drawer. And then in the drawers above it, I keep my colored yarn, my different yarns. I need something bigger though because uh, I love knitting and yarn as much as I like books. So anyhow, let's get started with what I have as far as knitting needles go. I do have some circular knitting needles, which I've never used. I also have these large ones, which I used to do a project. It was a pink blanket, which I love. I don't really remember how to do it anymore. But I'll, I'm going to figure it out now that I'm not working. I have time to do that. I keep my knitting needles in these two containers. And they're just randomly placed. Um, so these are my knitting needles. And uh, these are anywhere from size uh, 3 to 10. those. I think I have, oh, I have up to size, I think I have up to size 11. And there are these. Some of these I have had since I, before I got married, and I'll be married for, I think, 42 years in December. So those are those. And then I have a ton of miscellaneous needles down here that didn't really fit in my holders. This is size 15. Okay. Oh, oh, these are the needles that don't have the little things on the end. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. But I'm going to do a project. I'm going to do some scrubbies and little things for the kitchen. I've Someone made some for me before, and I just didn't think they were very good. But I'm going to make them because I don't know what else to make. I'm not that talented. So I am going to try something. Baby! The scooter wants to come in and say hi. And then I have these wooden knitting needles, which I've never used before. I have a wooden crochet hook. Hi, honey. And then I have a little, it looks like an eyeglasses case, but it's for crochet hooks. I keep my scissors in there, and these are my crochet hooks, including a little marker which sometimes I need these, I use them a lot, but I have from the big old jumbo size, doesn't even have a number on it, to the little teeny weeny ones, which I've never used before, but that's, that's another project I'd like to learn how to do, are these threads. I'd like to make a tablecloth, <laughs> but I'll try. These are some threads that I have, and this has a crochet hook inside of there, too. So I just, I just love collecting these. Then I have spacers, and I have buttons in here, which I need to put all of these in my button bottle. I have a big old-fashioned milk jug. It's glass. It's, it's one of those rounded tall ones. I should have brought it here. 
uh, and it's filled with buttons. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then in this container also I keep my unique yarn or Christmas yarn. This is a black yarn with little sparkles of silver in it, which I think is pretty. I don't think you can see it. It's only two dollars one year. Um, this is some more Christmas yarn. This is that yarn that you, it comes in a string like this and you pull it apart and you make scarves with it. They kind of curly cue down. They're pretty. And then some more remnants of Christmas type yarn. And then I have this little yarn that I picked up. It's just a unique little yarn, which I've never used before. I don't know if that would be too hard to use. But that's basically what I have as far as knitting needles go. So I am probably going to take a class at Michael's or Hobby Lobby for knitting or crocheting and just get going with that and I'll, it'll give me something to do and I'll be able to make something rather than blankets because I have all I know how to do is just a few simple stitches that create big huge blankets and I'd like to do and I know how to make baby booties but I'd really like to learn how to do something different so I'll take you along with me on my new adventure Hope everybody has a great day, a great weekend. And if you have any questions or requests, just let me know. I'm enjoying all of your comments. And it's so good to see everybody and hear from you again. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.